In today's standard level IB and A level chemistry video, we're going to be looking at balancing redox equations. So this is when you write two equations, so one showing reduction, one showing oxidation. You add them together to show an overall balanced symbol equation. So questions often look something like this. Question one, in acid solution, manganate seven ions oxidize sulfite ions to sulfate and the manganese is left as Mn2 plus ions. So the very first thing you need to do is underline the species which relate to each other and try and use a different colour to make this nice and straightforward. So from the question we can see that the MnO4- minus is going to be related to Mn2+, plus, and the SO32- minus will be related to SO42-, minus, and they will form the basis of your equations. We've been told that the manganese is left as Mn2 plus ions, which is why I'm writing that on the right hand side of the equation. So that will form equation one, and equation two will contain SO32 minus being turned into sulfate ions, which is SO42 minus. So that's the basis of our equation. So let's have a look at equation one. What do we have here? Well, we have MnO4 minus turning to Mn2 plus. So the real difference here is we've got oxygen featuring on the left hand side, but not on the right. So we need to add oxygen to the right hand side and the way you do this with these equations is by adding water. And I'm going to add four waters owing to the four oxygens on the left hand side. However, as you can see, because I've added water, it means I've added hydrogen into the mix, which I need to account for on the left hand side of the equation. And the only way you're allowed to do that is by adding hydrogen ions. And I'm adding eight hydrogen ions due to the fact that there are eight on the right hand side. And now let's have a look at our various charges. So if you look at the left hand side of the arrow, we've got eight pluses, one minus. So we've got a net charge of seven plus on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we've got Mn two plus, water is neutral, so we have a two plus charge. We need to make these charges the same and the only thing we're allowed to do is add electrons. Remember they have a negative charge. So how do we get from seven plus to two plus? by adding electrons and I'm going to add five of them. And now correct the charge, so that's two plus, so it's done. Let's turn our attentions to equation two. So we've got SO32 minus on the left, SO42 minus on the right. We've got more oxygens on the right than the left, so remember we have to add water here, and I'm only going to add one water to account for that extra oxygen on the right. However, we've added hydrogens, which means we need to account for those on the right, we're going to add hydrogen ions and I'm going to add two of them. Let's look at our charges now. So on the right hand side, two minus two plus means that we have a neutral zero charge here. On the left hand side, water is neutral. We've got a two minus charge. So what we're allowed to do is add electrons. They're negative, which is why we have to add them to the right hand side in order for that charge to now equal two minus. So at this point, we've got our two equations showing reduction and oxidation. And just to show you, remember oxidation is the loss of electrons, which is why this equation shows oxidation. We've added electrons in the first equation, which is why this is reduction. Now we need to form our entire complete equation, and we do that by adding the equations together in the way that you did simultaneous equations at GCSE. In order to be able to add the two equations together, you've got to make sure that the electron numbers are the same. If they're not the same, they won't cancel out. So let's have a look at how we would do this. Well, what's a common number that both five and two go into? Well, that is 10. So I'm going to multiply equation one by two and equation two by five. So it's quite a complicated question and now we need to rewrite these equations. So if we multiply equation one by two, we get 16H plus plus 2MnO4 minus plus 10E minus forms 2Mn2 plus plus 8H2O. Let's multiply equation 2 by 5 now to get 5 waters, 5SO3 2 minus, 5SO4 2 minus, 10H plus, and 10 e minus. At this point we can finally do our simultaneous equation bit and we're going to add these two equations together which means you add everything on the left hand side together, draw an arrow and then add everything on the right hand side together. 
So that means your final equation will look like this. And try and write nice and small so it fits all in on one line. So 16h plus plus 2mno4 minus plus 10 electrons. And now moving on to the second equation, plus 5h2o plus 5so3 2 minus. And now on the right hand side of the equation, despite the fact I've drawn small, I think I'm going to run out of space. We've got mn2 plus plus 8H2O plus 5SO4 2 minus plus 10H plus plus 10E minus. So that's huge. And now you're looking for things which are the same on both sides of the arrow because if they're the same, it means you can cancel them down. And you met this at GCSE when you were allowed to delete spectator ions. So we can see the number of electrons is the same on both sides of the arrow, which means we can cross those straight out. Look for other similarities where well, we have water featuring on both sides of the arrow. We can get rid of those altogether. We need to cancel down the 8, 2 or 3. And then lastly, hydrogen ions. We have 16 hydrogen ions on the left-hand side, 10 on the right, which means we can lose the 10 on the right and we need to cancel this down to 6. Now we're ready to rewrite our final equation. So we have 6 hydrogens, they're aqueous, so we're including our state symbols, plus 2 Mn. O4 minus plus 5SO3 2 minus. Remember, these are both aqueous. See, I'm almost forgetting them. Goes to 2MN2 plus, also aqueous, plus 3H2O plus 5SO4 2 minus. And that's aqueous. Remember, water is liquid. And that, my friends, is the final answer. So, yeah, that was quite a beast. And that was quite a hard one mainly because the electrons weren't the same on both sides of the equations originally. So question two. Titanium three plus ions can be reduced to titanium two ions by silver. The silver changes to Ag plus. So using the exact same method as before, we're gonna underline similar species. So Ti three plus, Ti two plus will form our first equation. So that's Ti three plus going to Ti two plus, and that's equation one. And then referring back to the question again, we've got silver turning into silver ions. So equation two will be Ag turning to Ag+. Plus. And happily, this is far more straightforward because we've got the same elements on both sides of both equations. So we can go in straight away by just adding electrons. So Ti3 plus is far more positive than Ti2 plus. So we need to reduce its positivity by adding electrons and we just need to add one electron there. Remember, because we've added electrons, that's reduction. And then for Ag turning into Ag+, plus, this is oxidation because silver has lost electrons. And I'm going to write it over there. And then happily, everything's absolutely perfect and ready to go because we can simply add the two equations together in order to get rid of those electrons. And we end up with Ti3+, plus, plus E-, minus plus silver forms Ti2 plus plus Ag plus plus E minus. Our electrons are exactly the same on both sides of the equation, so we can cross those out and then rewrite everything with state symbols. So silver is a solid and all the ions are obviously aqueous. And how much more simple was that compared with the first example? That is it done. be friendly third example now so in acid solution manganate 7 ions oxidized dichromate ions to carbon dioxide mn2 plus is also produced in the reaction so identify the similar species again we've got mno4 minus pairing up with mn2 plus and then we have c2o42 minus forming carbon dioxide which hopefully we know the formula for so let's write these out. Equation one will be C2O4 forms carbon dioxide. And then equation two, we have MnO4 minus forming Mn2 plus. And now let's go and sort them out. So have a quick look back at equation one. And we have two carbons on the left hand side, only one on the right. So I'm going to pop a two there. Let's have a look at our oxygens. We have four on the left. Now we have four on the right. So happily that's sorted. The only thing we need to sort out now is the charges because we have a two minus charge over here, but a zero charge there. So we need that zero charge to become minus two. 
And the way in which we do that is by adding electrons here. And we know that's oxidation because effectively the original species has lost electrons. Now looking at the second equation, we've got Mn on both sides of the arrow, but we've got four oxygens on the left-hand side. We need oxygen on the right-hand side. Remember, we do that by adding waters. So I'm going to add four waters. However, now we've introduced hydrogen to the right-hand side, we need to introduce hydrogen to the left-hand side by adding hydrogen ions. And I'm going to have a look at how many I need. I need eight hydrogen ions. Let's work out the net charges. So we have negative one plus positive eight, meaning that we have a net charge of plus seven on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, water is neutral, so our net charge is two plus. So we've got far too much positivity on the left-hand side. We need to reduce this plus seven to a plus two. So how are we gonna do that? By adding five electrons. And those are the two equations sorted. However, remember in order to add the two equations together, the number of electrons need to be the same for both equations. And unfortunately in equation one, we have two electrons, whereas in equation two, we have five electrons. So from a simultaneous equation point of view, we need to find a common number that two and five both go into, that is 10. And that means that equation one needs to be multiplied by five, and equation two needs to be multiplied by two. And let's rewrite those equations now. So equation one now becomes 5C2O42 minus, forming 10CO2 plus 10E minus. Equation two is now 10E minus plus 2MNO4 minus plus 16H plus forms 2MN2 plus plus 8H2O. And finally, we can now add those two equations together in a simultaneous equation style in order to work out our final equation. So let's do the left-hand side first of all. So that becomes 5C2O42 minus plus 10E minus plus 2MNO4 minus plus 16H plus forms 10CO2 plus 10E minus plus 2MN2 plus plus 16, plus 8 H2O. By the way, Martin's here making sure I don't miscopy anything because I have a habit of not writing down things accurately, don't I? You're not gonna speak. So let's look on both sides of the arrow and, and look for similar species that we can therefore delete. We have 10 electrons on both sides so they can immediately go. Having another look, I can see there aren't any more similar species, which means that we're actually done. So let's rewrite it all, but this time include our state symbols. So 5C2. O42 minus, that's aqueous, plus 2MnO4 minus, again aqueous, plus 16H plus aqueous, plus 10CO2, that's a gas, plus 2Mn2 plus aqueous, lastly 8H2O, and remember water is a liquid. And that's done! Right! Really hope you found this video helpful, guys. I'm kind of buzzing because it's a really hard topic and I hope I've done a good job in teaching you how to do it. Um, don't forget to give it a like and sub if you haven't already and I'll be back soon with another video and Lyra will probably be back ringing her bell.